Hi everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. If you love coconut, you are going to love today's cheesecake recipe. I've been making a white chocolate coconut cheesecake with coconut whipped cream. This incredible cake is packed with so much delicious flavor. We're going to start things with a coconut graham cracker crust, make a rich and creamy white chocolate coconut cheesecake, top it all off with a really light and fluffy coconut whipped cream, add some toasted coconut on top to garnish things. And I like to also top it off with those Raffaello white chocolate coconut truffles to make the cheesecake extra festive. For the full list of ingredients and the instructions, make sure to head on down in the video description box and follow that link over to my website. Meanwhile, I'm going to get things started with that coconut and graham cracker crust. It is the perfect start to this cheesecake. Before you get started on the recipe, you'll want to preheat your oven to 300 degrees Fahrenheit and then wrap the bottom of a nine inch springform pan with a couple layers of extra wide foil. And I love this extra wide foil because I get no seams and so there's very little chance of any water actually getting into the crust and ruining the cheesecake. I'm going to set that pan aside for now. And for my crust, I'm going to need one package. It's about nine to 10 graham crackers. I'm gonna drop these into my food processor. and I'll pulse these cookies until fine crumbs form. Add in half a cup of sweetened shredded coconut and a third cup of melted unsalted butter. And then I'll just give this a quick pulse until the crumbs are well coated in the butter. Transfer the crumbs into your prepared spring form pan. And I like to use a potato masher to press the crumbs evenly and firmly into the bottom of the pan. I'm going to set aside my crust for now and we're going to get started on the white chocolate coconut cheesecake batter. So I've softened 32 ounces or four packages of cream cheese at room temperature for about 45 minutes until it's really nice and soft. And the secret to a really great cheesecake is mixing the cream cheese all by itself for a good seven to nine, even 10 minutes until it's really nice and creamy. And we'll set this mixer to a medium high speed. And I'm going to periodically stop and scrape down the sides of my mixing bowl just to make sure that all of my cream cheese is well beaten and creamy. And now for my next ingredients, I'm going to add in half a cup of coconut cream. Now this is a pretty solid type of coconut cream. I'm using a canned version and all I did was just scoop off the fat solids that have uh, gathered up near the top and then the liquids you could just discard. So I'll need half a cup of the coconut cream. It's gonna add lots of great flavor. It's also going to make the cheesecake extra rich. Add in half a cup of sour cream half a cup of white granulated sugar, two teaspoons of coconut extract, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. I'll mix this together for a couple minutes. And now for my chocolate, I have one cup of white chocolate chips. I'm going to melt these in the microwave. It takes about two minutes to melt and I stop to stir halfway through. You wanna make sure that you add this chocolate while it's hot into the cheesecake batter. Otherwise it can kind of clump up, but even it does, if it does form little clumps in your batter, don't worry about it. That chocolate is going to melt really nicely into the cheesecake batter while the cheesecake bakes. Add in the melted white chocolate while it's still warm. And then I'll quickly give this a mix for about 30 seconds. And before I start adding in my eggs, I'm going to give my mixing bowl one last scrape down just to make sure I have everything off the sides well combined. And we'll need four large eggs for today's recipe. I'm going to add them one at a time with the mixer running on medium speed. I'm going to pour this cheesecake batter over the prepared crust. It's so creamy, it looks incredible, and I love that coconut aroma too. I'm going to give the cheesecake batter a few hard taps just to make sure that the batter is evenly settled. And then I'll use a little offset spatula to level off the top. 
Today I'll be using the water bath method to bake the cheesecake and using this method ensures that the cheesecake stays nice and level on the top. It also helps prevent any cracks from forming. So just place the cheesecake onto a baking sheet and we're going to fill the sheet up with water. And I actually like to do this usually with the baking sheet and the cheesecake already in the oven so that way you don't have to transport the entire thing um, across your kitchen. And then this is going into the oven. The cheesecake is going to bake at 300 degrees Fahrenheit for two hours at which point I like to turn the oven off and then uh, prop the oven door open with a wooden spoon and allow the cheesecake to cool really slowly in the oven. Once it's cooled for a couple hours, just place it into the refrigerator, let it chill overnight, and then I'm going to show you how to make some coconut whipped cream to add on top. We're going to need two cups of extra chilled heavy cream. I want to make sure it's very nice and cold so that it whisks up nicely. I'm going to add in half a cup of confectioner's sugar and we'll need one teaspoon of coconut extract and half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And if you have a couple tablespoons of coconut cream left over from when you were making the cheesecake batter, you can add two to three tablespoons of that in here as well. If you don't have it, the whipped cream is still going to turn out fantastic. Next, I'm going to grab my mixer and give this a mix for about four to five minutes and still, until stiff peaks form. And you wanna start out on a slow speed and then work your way up to high. And I have a second cheesecake that I baked last night and it's chilled in the refrigerator. It's ready to go. I'm going to grab a flat spatula and just slide it right underneath the crust all the way around until the cheesecake is loosened from the pan. And that way we could transfer it over. Grab a little cake stand and then just gently transfer it. And the bottom of the cheesecake is usually pretty firm. So it's super easy to transfer. Here you go. All right, let's add our whipped cream on top. I'm going to add this whipped cream right on top first. I'm gonna add a nice generous amount of it, probably about two thirds of the whipped cream. Grab a spatula and then just spread that evenly to the edges. You want a nice thick layer of this whipped cream right on top. And just take a few minutes and make sure it's nice and level so that it looks pretty. And for garnishing the top, I've toasted some sweetened shredded coconut in the oven. I'll include the instructions up on my website for how I toasted this coconut. It's super easy. And just sprinkle that over the top. It's gonna add some incredible flavor. And I'll transfer the rest of my whipped cream into a pastry bag. And today I am using a Teco tip number 847. You can use any type of star tip. And I'll add little dollops of whipped cream right on top. And I purchased some of these Raffaello, they're white chocolate coconut uh, truffles. I'm going to add these on the top as well, just to garnish the cheesecake. And now let's cut into this cheesecake and give it a taste test that looks so pretty. I am loving all the decorations on the top. That toasted coconut looks so pretty. Look at this stunning slice of cheesecake. Doesn't that look incredible? I love that layer of the whipped cream on the top and then that cheesecake looks so rich and creamy. Can't wait to dig in and enjoy it. And you can always add a little bit extra whipped cream on the side with each serving. And that's it for my white chocolate coconut cheesecake. This looks phenomenal. I am loving that toasted coconut on top. And then the Raffaello truffles just makes the cheesecake look extra special. It's going to be perfect for any celebration. For the full list of ingredients and the instructions, make sure to head on down the video description box and follow that link over to my website. You'll be able to print the recipe and you can also find the recipe with metric measurements. Time to dig in and enjoy. This looks so good. I am loving that layer of the whipped cream sitting on top of the cheesecake. I'm going to grab a little bit of everything, a little bit of the whipped cream. Mmm, mm-hmm. 
This is incredible. The cheesecake itself is just velvety smooth, so rich. I'm loving all the coconut flavor. And then you get tons of coconut flavor from the graham cracker crust as well. You have some toasted coconut on top, and I love that light and fluffy whipped cream. It just really helps balance out the richness of the cheesecake. Mmm. Mm. Just wow, you guys are going to love how all the different textures and flavors come together. It is such a delicious cheesecake. I think I'm gonna finish the rest of the slice with a cup of coffee. It's gonna be the perfect complement to this cake. Thank you guys so much for watching this video recipe. I hope you enjoy this cake at home as much as I do, and I'll see you next time with a new recipe.